So in this lesson, you're going to learn about the carbon cycle, and I'd like you to try to learn about it by using one of the gizmos on the Explore Learning website. Um, so if you scroll down, you'll find one that says carbon cycle, and this is the one you're going to be using. Um, so first of all, I want to show you, uh, if you go up to the top right here, under Lesson Info, there's something called a vocabulary sheet. So you can click on the vocabulary sheet and it gives you the definitions of various words <clears throat> that you might come across during this lesson. Um, you're going to have to use this to find a few definitions for one of the questions on the Google form. All right, so uh, that's just uh, how you get to the vocabulary sheet. All right, I'm gonna expand this to full screen mode. Never mind. I'll just uh, use a small screen here. Okay, so uh, what this simulation does is it allows you to try to track a molecule of carbon or an atom of carbon. Um, this picture here is of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is CO2. It's got one carbon in the middle and two oxygen atoms uh, attached to it. Um, and at the start of the simulation, the carbon is found in carbon dioxide. Uh, the circle that's yellow, or whatever is highlighted yellow, is um, what the notes down here are talking about. So we're starting at atmospheric CO2, and the bottom here just tells you um, what atmospheric CO2 means. It's the carbon atom starts inside a CO2 molecule in Earth's atmosphere. Click a location to choose where the atom will go next. So um, you cannot click wherever you want. You can only click the things that are, are kind of flashing in blue. Okay, so uh, I've got three options right now. There's oceanic CO2, so in the ocean. There's land plants. And there's exposed rocks. Okay, so um, I can, I'll just click on land plants. And when you click on one thing, uh, then you'll get an arrow. Okay, this arrow shows you what you did. So we started at atmospheric CO2. That's where the carbon was. And now we sent it to the land plants. And the land plants are hot the yellow now. That's where we are. And you can read the notes at the bottom. So at the bottom, uh, it explains what happened. It says, in the process of photosynthesis, plants use the energy of the sun to form glucose and oxygen from carbon dioxide and water. The glucose is used for energy and to build plant tissue, and most of the oxygen is released. Um, so that was stuff um, you may remember from the photosynthesis and cellular respiration lesson. Um, so from land plants, what I can do is now click on something else, something that's flashing blue. I've got a lot of options here. I can click on the land animals. I can click on a forest fire, I can click on soil, I can click on coal, and I can click on natural gas. Okay, so uh, there's lots of options to choose from. Um, I'll just go to, uh, I'll go to animals, and then at the bottom you'll see a note of what happened when you went from plants to animals. You can read that to learn. Um, I can keep going, so what else? I can click, uh, soil now okay and then there's a note from land animals to soil um, now it's flashing blue uh, i can click back to atmospheric co2 um, atmospheric ch4 is flashing that's called methane uh, what else is flashing here oh this long strip here called sediments is also flashing i'm going to click on that um, which leads to things like petroleum, natural gas. Um, I'll click on natural gas, which leads to a power plant. And a power plant burns the natural gas to go back to atmospheric CO2. So at the end of the day, we want to get back to the atmosphere. And now what I've done is I've formed a whole cycle. This was a long cycle. Okay, you follow the arrows. That's where the carbon went, and that's a cycle. Just like water uh, in the water cycle in the previous lesson, uh, it kept cycling over and over. Carbon keeps cycling over and over too. 
on the left here is a summary of everything you clicked. And they call it a carbon path. So what this simulation does is you create you create a carbon path and you learn about it. Okay, you learn about it by reading the notes every step of the way. Uh, so that's one carbon path. You can click reset. Click reset and start over. Uh, notice how you always start at the same spot though. The simulation always starts at atmospheric CO2. Um, I will make a different carbon path now. I can start into the ocean. And I have a note about what happens for carbon dioxide going into the ocean. Then I can go to marine plants. And from the marine plants, I can go to the marine animals. From the marine animals, I can go to the sediments. Uh, I went to natural gas last time, so maybe this time I'll go to petroleum. Petroleum. And then the lithosphere. And then the rocks. And I can just keep clicking and keep clicking uh, and keep forming these cycles. Uh, every step along the way, um, you, you get some information. Okay, I'm going to make one more. I can start at my atmospheric CO2. I can go to land plants, um, forest fire, and back up to the atmosphere. So that's a really short cycle. Okay, so sometimes you can click a whole bunch of things and make a really long carbon path. Um, or you can make a really short one like I've just done here. It just went to three places. So um, for this lesson, you have a Google form uh, that's got a whole bunch of questions about how carbon moves around in an ecosystem or just on the planet, really. And um, you can you try to answer those questions by creating these carbon pathways um, until you until you find the notes down here that answer the question. All right, so I'll let you. Go and try that and learn about the carbon cycle.